The latching force, which is the no safety interlocking function with an unlocked safety gate, has two settings. Turning the turnstile through 180 degrees with an open safety gate changes the latching force. This can be set to either 25 newtons or 50 newtons. The AZM300 is a universally applicable safety locking device which due to the construction allows installation in both sides. This allows the same model to be used for revolving doors that rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise and for sliding doors. The innovative locking system in the form of a turnstile makes it possible to approach the guard from three directions. The AZM300 has a large actuator tolerance so that it can be used with large installation tolerances, vibrations or door offsets. The actuator tolerance is up to 3.5 mm in the longitudinal direction and up to 2 mm in the traverse direction. After the 24 volt supply has been applied, the safety locking device makes two safety outputs ready for safety evaluation and a diagnostic signal to a PLC. By controlling the solenoid, the safety locking device is either locked or unlocked. The safety signals can be passed through additional electronic safety devices in series for safety evaluation. With SD devices, the diagnostic signals are also fed in series via a gateway with a common field bus protocol for further processing in a controller. Extensive accessories allows for plug-in installation, simple commissioning, and extensive diagnostic functions. The multi-fault protection increases the operational safety due to the targeted fault tolerance and preventive diagnostics. If, for example, a cross-fault is detected in the connection lines during operation, the controller receives a diagnostic signal to abort the current action or to perform a shutdown. After the initial fault diagnosis, the safety outputs remain switched on for a further 30 minutes before they also shut down. This allows regulated shutdown processes and prevents associated hazards or rejects. Standard coded AZM300 are operational with a factory delivery state. Individually coded safety locking device and actuators are simply taught. First, switch off the safety locking device, then reapply the voltage and move the actuator to the detection area. The teach-in process is signaled at the safety locking device with the illuminated red LED and the flashing yellow LED. After 10 seconds, it is required to switch off the supply voltage to the safety locking device. This is indicated with short flashes. The next time the supply voltage is switched on, the actuator needs to be acquired again to activate the taut activation code. The activated code is finally stored and the system is ready immediately. The AZM300 variants with individual coding ensure a high level of bypass protection and are therefore suitable for protection equipment where the temptation to manipulate is quite high. If with these variants a replacement actuator is used instead of the taut actuator, then this condition is recognized by the sensor and is not released. False actuators are recognized and are indicated by five red flashes. 
The actuators already taught remain operational. With individually coated safety locking devices that are of type 1, the initial assignment of the safety locking device and actuator is irreversible. Type 2 safety locking devices can be taught multiple times and the actuator teaching process can be repeated indefinitely. To teach in a replacement actuator, the teaching process is repeated with a new actuator. This causes the code to be overwritten. After the teaching process of a replacement actuator, a 10 minute blocking release ensures an increased manipulation protection. The green LED flashes after completion of the relearn process until the blocking release duration has expired and the new actuator has been acquired. If the supply is interrupted during this period of time, the protection period begins anew. This manipulation protection time is not effective during the teaching process for the initial actuator.